This is Twit. We talked about this earlier today with Sam Abul Samet, our car guy, on Ask the Tech Guys. He brought up the new NVIDIA 4. <sighs> this is an AI chip for cars. Now, remember, the iPad is uh, 38 trillion operations a second, 38 tops. Uh, these AI uh, Copilot plus AI PCs are, according to Qualcomm, the Snapdragon Elite X can get to 45 tops. These The Thor is 2,000 trillion operations per second. Uh, this thing is massively o overpowered because apparently you need it if you're going to drive a car without a human involved. Uh, and NVIDIA power, is making power these. hungry, too. Yeah. And, oh, yeah, power hungry. Over 100 watts of power as they run. <laughs> Uh, in your in car? your car, <laughs> so I, I feel Ooh. like this really feels like move fast and break things all over again to me. Sam Altman is clearly a move fast and break things kind of guy, right? And and all there these are these guys are there's some these true believers are so excited. I, you know, sometimes I'm in that camp, by the way, about AGI and the potential of AI, even if it isn't AGI to change the world and make the world a better place, that they're willing to damn the torpedoes full speed ahead. Recall feels a little bit like that. Um, right. And I guess you could make the case, unless you are 100% committed to this, it isn't going to happen. Do you want this to happen? Well, here's the other thing. Um, it is still so early enough that we actually don't know if throwing AI into Excel and throwing AI into your email and throwing AI into your OS and throwing AI into your car is what people actually want. Like, uh, I, I don't own any NVIDIA stock, but like there's been some articles out there about like, you know, NVIDIA, $3 trillion company or whatever. But uh, what if um, all of these companies that are throwing all their money at NVIDIA chips uh, are like, you know, no one's actually using these co-pilots to do Excel spreadsheets because, again, like I said about email, it's easier to just write the two-sentence thing than get the summary. And so we actually don't know. It would, I, it's probably like a year out before we'll know if the actual usage of this of these copilots beyond like coding beyond like I, I've, I've heard a lot about stuff in the medical space, in the, in the legal space of, okay, yeah, this, this is obviating a lot of rote work, but yeah. um, is that enough for uh, everybody? <clears throat> yeah, I think another, another interesting perspective here is I think one thing that, especially having worked on one of the copilots, I can say that you know, obviously there's going to be the power users, the ones that can do things faster just by doing it themselves. And then there's the other users, we call them everyday Excel users, ones that people are not necessarily experts or the fact that Microsoft has, you know, basically stuffed as many features as they possibly can in their in their applications and people sometimes can't find them or even how to configure them and so the, that's where these assistants come in especially they've helped me over the years actually or, and I think or why do you need ai in instagram uh in theory <laughs> that's a great place to, to teach my mom that maybe she needs ai but uh right. what would you do with that well why do you need uh amazon echo in a electric toothbrush and we don't but the uh, Oral B sold a two hundred thirty dollar the toothbrush and then pulled the plug. Hey, thank you for watching this little snippet from our big show, the News Roundtable, this week in tech. I'm Leo Laporte. Each week we cover the week's tech news, in-depth analysis, but it's also fun and engaging. You'll find it at twit.tv along with all of our shows. And if you want more, just hit the subscribe button, and uh, we'll be sure to bring you a lot more great content. Thanks for listening.